Hello everyone and this is Prosper and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to disable or deactivate a WordPress plugin from your host uh, without access to your WordPress uh, admin dashboard. So right here what I have now is my admin uh, dashboard and if for any reason you want to deactivate any plugin and you don't have access to your dashboard, there's a way you can do it from your host which is what I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. But before we do that, let's first of all look at some of the things that could happen or that would cause it that you might not have access to your admin dashboard to disable any WordPress plugin. Like I have it here now, this is my these are the plugins on this particular website. I can easily click on any of them to deactivate or reactivate them. But once you don't have this access, some of the things that would cause it is probably some plugins are already conflicting with each other. Probably you just or uh, you just added a new plugin or you just uploaded a new plugin or you updated a particular plugin, you know, there is a confusion between them. With that, once that, that happens, you might be having, you won't have access to your dashboard or you might be having something like this. Maybe uh, there's a critical error. You know, this is a common one. You see a critical error on your website. Please check your site admin dashboard. So once you see um, things like this, the first thing you might need to do is to considering deactivating some of your recent plugin or do them one after the other and then for you to do that you need to do, the, uh, do that from your host and that's what i'm going to share with you in this video so now let's let's do that so depending on your host it's quite uh, similar but the interface might be different so the process is similar so what you do is you head over to your uh, to your host so for this particular website and i'm hosting it on hostinja so this is what your dashboard will look like so make sure you're on the particular website you will see it here so what you do is you scroll down to your file manager all right so once you're uh, once you're on your file manager you see this public html and then uh, so you come to wp content so in this uh, wp content you can see we have plugins here now what you do is if you want to deactivate a particular plugin just make sure that you just click on it and then these are all the plugins i have on the website like you can see it here so all the plugins that i have here this that's what is showing here so if there's any other if there's any plugin here you want to deactivate or disable what you can just do is just click let's say for example i want to disable this particular all in one wp migration what i'll just do i'll just uh, right click and i'll rename it so probably i can just add let me just add one after it and i click on rename exactly and that's and that's it so if i should come back to the front i mean to the uh to my dashboard now and you can see is is um is active but once i refresh it remember i've already renamed it so let me refresh so you can see it's bringing the option to activate 